breathe easily and naturally. In rest and in gentle activity, the diaphragm does most of the work of breathing. The upper chest does little work. shaped lungs lie in a sort of vacuum inside the chest cage. When we breathe in, the diaphragm contracts downwards, making room easily for air, which is sucked in as the lungs enlarge. As we breathe out, the diaphragm relaxes back into its dome shape, and air is pushed out of the lungs. Breathing is easy. No long breaths, no holding of breaths, but a little rest at the end of each breath out. When we need more air, when we need more energy, extra air is sucked into the lungs. And this is normal. The upper chest helps when it's hard to breathe. Ferdinand has asthma. In an attack, his breathing muscles become confused, like Alex. Because Ferdinand's upper chest muscles have helped too often and too much, his effort breathing pattern has become a habit. The top muscles hold the chest cage up. The diaphragm is also pulled up, limiting its movement. Breathing becomes difficult, and now the lungs can't get enough air. Ferdinand gasps desperately when he's active. Even when he's just sitting around, he breathes with his upper chest. And just look at his shape. Without help, it could become fixed, like John's. How much easier life would be if he'd been taught how to relax and use his diaphragm, like this. Now, let's relax your hands in your lap instead of pushing your chest up even further. See if you can sink your chest down like that under my hands. Now pretend to fill and empty your tummy as you breathe in and out. Like that, relax. Breathe gently, not great big breaths. That's very Young good. Young children now. can learn this tummy balloon breathing easily. This is a bossy hand that says keep very still. And this is a gentle listening hand that feels your tummy balloon. You can practice this at night like this. Lie on your side and curl up. 
happen to your tummy balloons there? That's beautiful. That's going to sleep, tummy balloons. Look, Ferdinand, in these special positions, you would find it much easier to relax. Any position where you lean forward lets the chest relax. Well, this allows the diaphragm to work more easily. You must think about good breathing habits, especially after activity. Now, Ferdinand, you want to know why it's so hard to breathe? Now, look at these drawings. The air reaches the lungs through the bronchial tubes. These are like upside-down trees. The branches are tubes, which are lined with a membrane kept moist by a thin layer of mucus. Your mucus membrane, Ferdinand, is much more sensitive than most people's. I can be affected in many ways. membrane reacts. It swells and produces extra fluid in the form of sticky mucus. The muscles in the tubes tighten, especially if you cough to get rid of the mucus. Poor Ferdinand. No wonder it's so hard for you to breathe. Fortunately, many asthma patients have doctors who give medications which help open the air passages. And sometimes medication is combined with oxygen. But they also need to know how to help themselves. Apart from drug treatment, Ferdinand, you need to know how to help yourself. How? Physiotherapy can teach you to clear your bronchial tubes regularly by an easier way than coughing. Here's how it works. In this x-ray, special dye outlines the bronchial tubes. And during quiet breathing, the dye moves very little. During forced expiration, it's squeezed up from the outer branches just like toothpaste from a tube. In coughing, something strange happens. The intermediate branches narrow sharply, trapping secretions in the small, lower breathing passages. These small air passages become blocked in asthma, so it's important that they be kept clear. Animation will make this easy to understand. Ferdinand can be shown how to clear his breathing tubes between attacks when he's not wheezy to prevent trouble. He learns to lie in upside-down positions and to use forced expiration briefly and wisely. Learn to loosen your mucus in this way. Just relax 
That's it. And do a few quiet tummy breaths. We'll let this arm relax a bit more. That's it. Now huff out your breath. Now rest and breathe gently again with your diaphragm. This gives the bronchial tubes time to open up adequately before your next huff. Huff again, the big one. <sighs> Breathe gently, that's the way. This will help even more. Huff out your breath. <sighs> Rest again and breathe away quietly. Now another good huff. You can spit out your mucus now if you like. I'll just rest, relax and breathe gently. You can do this yourself. Learn to thump your chest in this special way as you huff out your breath. Now you try. Now rest. Tummy breathe. And another one. And once more. Very good. Gradually, other huffing exercises are introduced to help free mucus. Young children find huffing difficult. They use other like expiration story. noises. Me. Me. Sit up in your chair then. Let's be Chuffy the train. Off we go. Let's have another one like that. Another noise from Chuffy. Here come those naughty old geese to get in his way. Let's be a goose now. Do you know what happened? The engine driver had to call up his helicopter to frighten them. We'll be a helicopter like this. But the old geese just did some magic huffs at the helicopter. Great big ones. basins and have a big cough and a spit now. <coughs> spit it out. Oh. Good. Right, we'll do some granny tummy balloons now and have a wee rest. Is your tummy balloon working well? That's good. They can learn to huff by blowing hard down a tube like this. Try again. The exercises also mobilize stiff chests. During activity, frequent rests are needed to correct breathing pattern.
Now, Tony, take hold of the big elephant's trunk, take a big, big breath and blow hard into it. Special breathing tests have shown that most asthmatics improve immediately after these controlled breathing exercises. Ferdinand has been practicing his exercises regularly. Over several months, his breathing tests have shown marked improvement. Why have I improved? Although relaxation is important, Ferdinand, and you've learned this well, it is the exercises that clear your bronchial tubes, which have improved your lung function tests. Special exercises improve posture. Legs up, stiff and straight, and down very quietly, down they go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Every day, Ferdinand spends time clearing his chest. Now, he always watches how he breathes. In this way, asthmatics can have a much more active life. Keeping fit is easier. Here's Kay. When she was seven, she was too easy to enjoy any exercise. Now she's 17, and obviously her exercises have helped. She's straight and beautiful, and life is fun. exercises have become part of Ferdinand's daily routine, just like cleaning his teeth. Good luck, Ferdinand. <laughs>